Well, here we do. Here we go. We have a display tank. It is on its side because uh, I am about to paint the back, that side, and the bottom. I'm going to paint it all black. So I just picked this up today. Um, it is roughly 140 gallons. Um, it is 24 inches wide by 22 inches tall by um, 60 inches long. So that's a nice size. I can fit some, some good fish and corals in there. It is half inch glass and I uh, lucked out. I didn't pay for it, but the glass company made a mistake and gave me beveled edges. So I got some nice edges, black silicone on the, around the bottom part and then clear on the top. Uh, this has been, you know, this has been fun, been slower than I want it to be probably because of that thing. Stinky puppy. A stanky puppy. Look at her. There she's all. Look, I'm cute. I'm a great little puppy. And then as soon as you turn her back, I'm going to chew everything. I'm going to chew pillows. I'm going to get shoes. And I'm going to chew anything I can find because I'm a chewy beast. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Oh, don't you play bashful with me? I know what you are. You're a stinky puppy. Yes, you are. And you love to snuggle. She, she, this is Kiva. Uh, so my other dog passed away in uh, February. Sorry for the mess. Like we're going through a whole bunch of failed garage sales, and now we're just donating everything, trying to clear this place out before the winter, so I can change tires and oils and stuff as I usually do. But uh, right now it's a bit of a it's a bit of a insane in here, and she likes to pee in here, don't you? Yeah, so my dog passed away, uh, my last dog, he was a boxer Rottweiler, this is a, mummy was a boxer, we have no idea what daddy is, I'm thinking shepherd something cross, maybe a shepherd Roddy, hopefully not a shepherd Mastiff, or just a straight Mastiff, because they do give me 120 pounds, 90 pounds is a good sized dog, I think she'll be about 90, um, 120 is just, that's a lot of dog, and she got big paws, come here. Come here, you little stink. Come here. Come here. Oh, Kiva. Her name's Kiva. So she needs a lot of training. Yes, she does. She's doing all right. She's smart. She's much smarter than my last dog. Much more assertive. My last dog had anxiety issues. What are you doing there? This guy, this girl, not as much. So she needs to, she needs to learn her place a little more. She wants to be the boss. It's not happening. No, it's not. Hello? No, it's not. Hello. Hello. We just got her nail. I did her nails tonight. She was good with that. She's okay with the bath. She's got no food aggression. Um, so far, really good with the kids. A little bit with the with the opening of the mouth. I think, that, well, it's just how dogs play. They got to learn not to open their mouth to people. And I just got to buy her probably like 400 more toys so she stops chewing everything. Furniture, wires, legs of chairs, anything. Yes, I'm wearing socks with sandals. I don't want any comments about that. <laughs> All right. Say bye, Kiva. Kiva. Say bye-bye. Oh, there we go. Later. Now, oh, here is the tank all painted and starting the water test. Got the overflow there. And she's filling up. Not too worried, but I want to make sure before I bring her down. She's not been water tested. But the guy that built it lives in the neighborhood, so if he said any problems, he'll come over and fix it. Right on. Well, for the most part, I would say this is a success. Um, just gonna leave it like this for a day or so. The only kind of small challenge is with the clips overflow. There's a, you probably can't see it. There's a bit of a leak coming out of one of these 
bulkheads. Uh, seems to be slowing down, so I'll just keep an eye on it. I'll probably be taking that off for when I move it down anyway. So here is the display filled pretty good. Still going to go up another uh, two, two to three inches. Yeah. Right on. So, welcome back. Uh, to move the tank into its stand, I have to come down these stairs. <laughs> this is going to be hard because then I have to make a U-turn on this landing and go down these stairs. And then I have to move it into the stand. It's already there. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, that's kind of cool. When you come downstairs, you'll see that kind of oh what's that what's going on there it's a big aquarium fish and corals and stuff and then you'll come around <coughs> and uh there she be sorry for the mess I'm, I'm working on the doors right now um so i'm trying to actually get this running uh, i'm going to work on the electrics tomorrow and then depending on where and how I get the plumbing parts, uh, that'll be next. And then once the plumbing and electrics are, just the basics are in, I'm gonna move the rocks over and fix up the mixing station, like fill it up, fix up the mixing station and just get things going basic just to get the whole system cycling. Uh, so yeah, got the tank in. A bunch of guys came over and helped me move her down. It was, with that sled, it was pretty dang easy because it was, there was a lot of places to carry it that didn't hurt. Uh, I carried one side and two guys carried the other side until this bottom part. Then uh, I had another friend that was pretty and we, uh, we kind of four manned it down and got her in there. Bit of a hiccup with the paint, but whatever, got it fixed. So here she is 60 inches by 24 wide by 22 tall. And then I've got the eShops overflow over here. <laughs> And uh, it's actually, we moved it down a little bit, so my water line's going to be kind of here. So it's going to be low. It's going to, the water line's going to, you know, it's going to be like around there or something like that, which means I can do some pretty aggressive waves in here. Uh, so my water line's going to be about 20 inches, I'm thinking, roughly. So I didn't need a, a super uh, massive brace on this thing. Uh, the guy that builds tanks, he's been doing it a long time. He's like, Two inch Euro brace and uh, and you're good to go. Um, the plumbing, as you can see, comes through here. The overflow goes through there and then it'll go down between those. Down into my sump where oh, excuse me, it comes in the first chamber and then uh, it'll go up, down, uh, it'll go up and then the water will come through this area at the front so it'll It'll hit this sock first, and then that sock, and then that sock is, see this one gets dirty, and then I can just pull the sucker out and clean it. Uh, then everything comes through, there's a, there's a gap right there. The egg crate's more just for spacing, it's not for structure. Um, come through there, the skimmer intake will be right there, and then uh, the heaters will be on the back wall, and then right around here will be the uh, bio bricks. And then I'm thinking uh, in that little kind of bubble trap thing, I may have hanging a bag of, you know, maybe a bag of carbon, bag of GFO if I ever need, a uh, bag of maybe uh, bio pellets that worked in my last tank. I, I liked that. It was easy. Or I might do a refugium or an algae scrubber. I've got some ideas. I'm just still thinking about it. I'll figure it out. Return pumps, float switches, and then over here, auto top off. Uh, over in here will be dosing, calcium reactor, that kind of stuff. Frag tank will be in here eventually, long time coming. Up here will be like fish food, you know, flakes, pellets, random stuff that I I just need. Uh, nets maybe, fans to cool off the uh, to cool off the LED fixtures. So oh, sorry for the video hiccup. My uh, memory card is full, so I gotta. Clean stuff out. Anyway, so it'll blow over here, uh, and then it exhausts out here, because uh, the flap here will come down to here, and I'll have some egg crate kind of sitting there, um, or maybe even just nothing. So the, the 
the air will come out through here. My furnace room is there, so it'll I'm gonna go in there and then gonna get sucked in because there's, there's quite a lot of suction from that furnace. It's a beast. Um, and then let's see, this will be boxed off. So wires from the top and stuff will be coming down over. Let's see, where is it? Yeah, it'll be coming down here. Uh, the return will actually come up and come into here. I'm going to attach it to this back. I was going to do a bulkhead in the actual tank, but uh, I figured if down the road I ever wanted to turn this into a pure peninsula, I, I couldn't drill this back panel. So uh, the water's just going to come up over here, which is fine because you're not going to actually see that anyway. It'll be in the canopy. Um, those wires will come down this channel from the top down here and then to the kind of power station there. And then, as I said, that's where the LEDs are going to go. So I'm just finishing the doors, working on the electrics. So while I, while the paint dries, I will work on electrics and plumbing of all these cabinet doors and stuff like that. Um, I've got one over here. So it's this kind of light gray. My wife picked the color. I wanted white, but... Uh, yeah, you know, she wanted a certain certain look and feel, and she kind of uses that thing, so she stares at it for a couple hours, or <laughs> a couple hours a week. Uh, so anyway, this is this is the color it'll be. It's not bad. It's nice and smooth. It's a it's a interior exterior, and you know, you put a couple coats on, you sand between each coat, and it comes out pretty smooth. It's sanded plywood, sanded three-quarter inch plywood uh, with hidden hinges looks kind of nice I just gotta get them painted and get them on and get them tweaked so there we are pretty excited it's pretty late uh, busy busy time of year especially when I decided to you know throw a new puppy into the mix <laughs> but it's worth it it's worth it it's pretty awesome all right Later.